One less feathery spy. There's a barricade up ahead. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart left? I was getting to it. We do not have a choice. Atreus, focus. an optimist, old friend.
That's just how they looked before the division. The division? No sense in spoiling the surprise? I've never seen the Lady Soul so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to found power, and thus the light elves were born. Well done. Though I imagine our light elf friends will be less than the Just to let these two do their thing, brother. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean we can't disfigure some architecture. This way. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. 
Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. Long and short of it. Aye. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. <laughs> Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Continue our 
Watch your face! <laughs>
Where then? Smart. Almost there. Allow me. Rock! I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. So we continue. Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? Feels even taller on the inside. Watch your left! Brother, get up! Brother! 